if you are not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. In this part, we will continue with the life cycle of Plasmodium. In the previous part, we studied the Schizogony part that is asexual reproduction of Plasmodium in liver and RBC. And as a result of this Schizogony, merozoids are released. Now these merozoids, they change into two sizes. There are some smaller cells and there are some larger cells. The smaller cells are called the microgametocytes and the larger ones are called the megagametocytes. They are not the gametes. They are the cells which will give rise to gamete. That means gamete formation is not taking place in humans. So here we will write it will give rise to male gamete and this will give rise to female gamete. So, the precursors, the cells which are going to form male and female gametes, they are formed. That means gamogony has started in humans, but gamete formation has not taken place. Now, at this time, suppose another mosquito bites. So, what is the mosquito going to do? Mosquito is going to inject the saliva. And if that female Anopheles has the sporozoids, then the sporozoids will be injected. And suppose if the female Anopheles is not having the sporozoids, then these gametocytes will be sucked in because female Anopheles is going to suck the blood. So when the blood is sucked, these two gametocytes, the micro and the macro or micro and mega, they will be sucked in. Now let us come to the elementary canal of uh, the mosquito. We will be drawing this. This is the foregut of female Anopheles and we will have to make the wall little thicker. See, in case of insects, we have structures like crop, right, gizzard here. There is a large crop like structure, but we divide the intestine into foregut, midgut, and hindgut. So we can call it crop, we can call it foregut. And in case of mosquito, here there is a salivary gland. So this salivary gland, let us draw. There are two salivary glands and they open with a common opening. So I am just making one salivary gland here salivary gland and this is the wall of foregut and this space which is there this is called the lumen of foregut of female anopheles. Now these two gametocytes the smaller and the larger they enter into the gut of the female Anopheles. So here is this smaller one and here is this larger one. The smaller one produces the male gametes. So what will happen to the smaller one? First, its nucleus will divide and there will be one, two, three, four nuclei formed. And every nucleus will be surrounded by a little cytoplasm and will form a male gamete. So this is, these are all male gametes. And this will grow to form the egg. So this mega gametocyte has formed the egg and from the micro gametocyte male gametes are formed. Fertilization takes place. Egg is fertilized by one sperm or one male gamete 
and this results into formation of a zygote. This is the zygote which is formed. Invariably or in most common cases, the zygotes are non-motile. But this zygote moves. In case of humans, zygote is formed in fallopian tube. And then the cilia of the fallopian tube conduct that zygote. Zygote doesn't move on its own. But here the zygote moves and it gets penetrated into the wall of the gut. So this zygote comes here. It secretes a cyst around itself. And now this motile zygote is known as ukinit. That is motile zygote. Now this zygote has this nucleus and again there will be division here that is sporogony. See gamogony means formation of gamete and fertilization. So gamete producing cells were produced in human body. These cells are taken by the female anopheles. In the body of female anopheles gametes are formed here fertilization takes place. That means female anopheles becomes the primary host. What is the definition of primary host? The host in which sexual reproduction of the parasite takes place. So the sexual reproduction that means formation of gametes and fusion of gametes. That is taking place in the female anopheles. And so female anopheles is the primary host. This Ukinet now starts to move. It keeps moving towards the anterior side and here sporogony has begun. That means here also the nuclei are dividing. Now this ukinet comes here and the nuclei have divided and each nucleus is surrounded by some cytoplasm and a membrane and now this ukinet ruptures. When ukinet ruptures, all these cells which were produced, they are released and they get stored in the salivary gland. And these cells which are stored in the salivary gland are the sporozoids. Now, if this mosquito bites a healthy human, what is going to happen? It is going to inject its saliva and whenever it injects its saliva, the sporozoids will be injected into the body of human. They will enter into the liver cell, hepatic schizogony. Cryptomerozoids will be released, smaller and larger. The smaller enter into RBC, again divide and RBCs rupture. Whenever RBCs rupture, hemozoin is released. Whenever hemozoin is released, the body temperature is going to rise. The merozoids form the gametocytes. Gametocytes are taken by the female anopheles. In female anopheles, gamete formation, fusion, that is fertilization takes place. And zygote is now known as ukinet because it is motile. And in the zygote, sporogony takes place. So where is gamogony taking place? Gamogony is taking place. It is starting in human body but is getting completed in female anopheles. Schizogony completely in human body. And this, what is happening here is sporogony, which takes place in the wall. So schizogony, see three things we have to write here. Schizogony in human, one in liver cells and in RBC. The second stage is gamogony 
starts in human completed in the lumen of foregut of female anopheles and then let us add one more thing here that is sporogony sporogony takes place in the wall of gut in the wall of gut of female anopheles so gamogony formation of gamete and fusion of gamete is taking place in the lumen in this cavity and sporogony is taking place in the wall of the gut so the location is very very important and this is how the life cycle of plasmodium is completed three stages schizogony completely in humans sporogony completely in female anopheles gamogony starts in human but is completed in female anopheles and this is how the life cycle of plasmodium gets completed now after the life cycle we need to understand that whenever hemozoin is released the body temperature rises which is called the fever and in case of malaria the symptoms are very unique so in the next part we will talk about the symptoms and treatment